Hi guys, I just wanted to do a, I haven't done an art haul, art supply haul in a long time and it's mostly because I've either had like subscription boxes and you've seen the contents or um, I've been keeping it a secret for future videos and things like that and um, I thought I'd do a little sort of, I've accumulated some stuff and I thought I would show you guys what I've uh, either bought or had given to me recently and um, yeah so I'll start with this which is doodle a day and I haven't done it for a few days <laughs> I did a weird like temmy looking dog thing <laughs> and I need to like pick it up again because it's, it's a really nice little book and it's something that you could just sit and do and it's nice it's, it'll be nice to see what it looks like at the end of the year so yeah and this is given to me by Fiona, um, she's one of my best friends from uni and uh, you should go check out her channel, she actually has a, a book review channel and she does like anime and manga type reviews as well, so go check her out, um, I'll put her link in the description, so go, go see her videos too. And the next thing I'd like to show is the, I got these uh, sent to me by Winsor & Newton themselves for the purpose of a video so just to let you guys know because I, I keep getting questions asked about pro markers and brush markers um, and whether I've tried them or not I, I've i been sort of like keeping it secret because I wanted to save it for the video and not spoil it but I've been sent these by Windsor and Newton to try out and do a review video for you and I'll, um, I'll let you know how I get on with them because they're pretty exciting they're beautiful colours like oh just look at the colours and pro markers don't have a brush nib, so that's going to be interesting, but brush markers do. And there's a blender as well, and I'd be interested to see if the blender's um, better than the Copic one. Because I've heard good things about that. So yes, I'm really excited to try these. <laughs> so thanks to Windsor Newton, and the video will be on its way. Um, I got this as part of a Secret Santa. I obviously got other things as well. I got like an Avatar comic book, and I got um, like a little link. Um like capsule thing and that was cute but I got a Wink of Stella brush pen as well and I've already started like I've already got the ink going in it and it's like a purple shimmer and it's really pretty and um, I'm not spoiling the next scroller box but I have got another one of these in silver now which is why I haven't bought the Winsor & Newton silver ink yet um, but yeah so I'm not going to show you I also got scroller box and I'm not going to show you guys what I got in that because it's a surprise. <laughs> We've got Bumble talking in the background. Um, this isn't really art related, but um, I get a lot of cramping in my wrist and I haven't worn one of these in a while. So I saw one in a pound shop and I thought I'm just gonna get that and try it out. It's actually my shoulder that is recently giving me more hassle than my wrists, but yeah, I kind of need these things. I've been, I've had to wear these since I was about 11. I've always had issues with my wrist. So, cool. <laughs> and I got a new pencil sharpener because I really like this one. Um, the KUM Ellipse. And it's very good at sharpening, but um, I just, I keep losing it because it tends to roll a lot and go missing. So I got myself one that, you know, can't move and it is KUM again. I don't know if you guys can see that. And um, they sent me a random colour but I wanted blue anyway. <laughs> and it does two sizes and then it has a little Yeah. I got this from Cult Pens and it was like two pounds thirty or something. Yeah. So um yeah it's just a pencil shot and nothing exciting about it. And then, um, actually I'll save these to last, <laughs> I want to talk about my sketchbooks, a lot of people ask me what kinds of sketchbook I use, and I am very very much into a soft cover sort of moleskin journal type thing, these aren't moleskin, these are by Ryman, you could just see that, which is a UK stationery store. And I've already put stickers on this. This was, I wasn't meant to start this until January 1st, but I kind of started it a little early. And basically my favourite sketchbooks in the whole world are um, Grand Lux monologue um, 
A5 with plain paper. I can't get them in the UK, I can only buy them in Hong Kong. And these are the closest thing to them. And when I have one of these, I just draw and draw and draw and draw and I can't help it. And I've got four of these. <laughs> I've got two of this size and two large ones, so um, I'm going to break open an A4 one soon and I, I, I just feel like it's going to go. And it's, it's the start of the year and I've already probably used about a quarter, but I'm going to. Yeah, okay. I've used that much already. I just can't physically help it. I, I can't do it. I can't not draw in these things. Uh, I've got a BB-8 sticker and a Ray sticker and then Kyrie and that was a present from Kat and then I bought like a whole pack of like Star Wars stickers um, and I'll flip through this a bit guys so you can see like please ignore like how bad my sketchbooks are I don't like showing them that much but anyway so that was the Crayola Challenge thumbnails um, this is a piece I'm working on Howl's Moving Castle piece and I did a colour test um, Chie, I think I've shown this to a lot of people actually there's my new character there she is again. We've got Undyne. Um, very crappy Cora. That's my um, Cora Sami page. <laughs> Just check it because I know that there's a sketch that I did for a friend in here and I don't want you guys to see that because it's not like. It's kind of private. And then I try to do sketches by holding the pencil. Like I see like professional artists just doing the like sketching like this and it didn't work. <laughs> Um, testing some of the paper that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I actually cut the leaf. Don't know why. Just felt like doing it. Um, and I just laid watercolor down, and then I noticed the colors were like pearl and lapis. So, okay. <laughs> um, Ruby and Sapphire. This is the one that I traced in, onto the Langton paper. That was the little thumbnail sketch I did for their pose, and then I did the colors. You can see this in the video. It's the colors. And the watercolours that I tested in the inks and stuff, and then I started using it as like blotting. <laughs> um, again, on this page, I've drawn a garnet, a cotton candy garnet, and tested out my inks on here, like mixing them. Um, yeah, like how dark I could get them. This is like pure, like full, fully loaded brush with ink, and, stuff. and then you don't need to see all this garbage. <laughs> okay, so. That's my new sketchbook and I have another one of these and I will most likely fill this very, very, very soon because I actually stopped myself from drawing in it. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I love sketchbooks like that though. They're just so much fun. Then I got ta -da, five new die mining. So I've been waiting and saving money and waiting until I could afford five new ones. Um, not that they're expensive, it's just obviously we've had a lot of other things to pay for. And so, doop, 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 doop. Then I got five new colours. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I feel like the Rainbow Sponge Lady is like, oh my god, look at all the colours. So we have Hope Pink. I haven't tested these out yet, so I'll test them out for you guys. China Blue. Prussian Blue. Salamander and yellow. The yellows weren't, there wasn't that many yellows, like from the swatches they just looked like um, oranges, so there was only one yellow and that was yellow, so. Because <laughs> I wanted like, almost like a lemon yellow. Okay, let's try these out. Um, by the way, time test, the H2O brushes tend to not leak, but I feel like they kind of explode a bit more. They they can't handle the ink as well as the aquash. Um, but they do kind of get a bit heavy with ink if you leave them upside down, which can result in like blobbing. So yeah. But I already had quartz black, bilberry, wild strawberry, and marine. And this is like the, my favorite one. You can kind of see. Hey, and you can't really see because the reflection. Ooh. I've used a lot, basically. Um, yeah, so I have those four already. And then I've got another five. Look at these beauties. So let's try these out. Let's get a brush.
So, I've got all these new ink colours, but, but wait, there's more. Ta-da! Winsor & Newton Polar Bear flavoured ink. Okay. I've never used a white ink before. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I kind of thought like, ooh, well maybe I'll try mixing white ink. Um, because it's water-based, so I'm presuming I can, I don't know, can I use it to lighten other ink colours? Oh, hello, purple. We shall see what I can do with this. I've never used inks before, so this is like baby's first ink steps, really. So, yeah. Um, and then I don't know how it lays, like, opaquely. I don't... Oh, that's actually quite good. I don't expect it to be quite opaque, but it's, it's more opaque than I thought it would be. That's cool. I like that. And I love these bottles so much. They're so cute. Little polar bear. I'm put it back in the box. I always keep them in the boxes, so... Just look at inks. This is so much fun. Oh my god, this is the such the wastest, wasted page in my sketchbook. Most wasted page. I can't talk. I'm so excited over inks that I've lost my capacity to speak. So, yes, um, that's the inks. And then I'll move swiftly on to the other items that I have. <laughs> so, um, some of you know... Let's readjust. Some of you know that I buy moleskin books and then customise them. Do different, like, drawings, creating things on the covers. And then I sell them, and as far as I'm aware, Moleskin have discontinued these colours. And I'm gutted because they were my favourites to draw on. You get like a set of three pastels, which suspiciously look like a group of crystal gems. <laughs> and I've already drawn that um, on a full set of these. But um, I couldn't, I haven't been able to get hold of these colours for a long, long time. And definitely not at a decent price. And I went into Sainsbury's of all things, which is a supermarket. And they were selling them, and I was just like, I'm going to stock up. So I bought one set of three, two, three, and four. <laughs> They're all rules, so you can see that they are actually notebooks, not sketchbooks. But I don't mind that, because um, I'm not going to be able to get these ever again, apparently. So I'll just knock over all my inks. And... Yeah, so I got um, 12 sketchbooks and 12 notebooks. I'm excited to do those. I got one of these as well, a moleskin um, green notebook. There's a choice between like red and purple and I chose green because of a very significant small space to reto when I'm going to design something on the cover. Um, it's just a notebook though, it's not a sketchbook and it's so cute. They also were selling, oddly enough, De La Rowney paper. So I got this um, De La Rowney Simply series. I mean the Simply series is like the discount version, so it's not the best paper in the world, but it doesn't mean it's bad. And it's the sketch and it's 95 GSM and the 72 sheets and it was, it was like £2. And it's dead thin, but it's for using with my light box instead of using my printer paper. So I thought, like, I can't go wrong with that, really. My printer paper costs more than this. So instead of using my printer paper. And then I got this as well from Sainsbury's, which is a weekly planner. And um, I'm going to just stick it under my keyboard so I can write things on. And it's really nice because it's got these little arrows and trees and I feel like it's a very me sort of design. And that was nice. I think it's called like Wilderness or something. It's really sweet. And um, what else did I get? Oh, I got an A2 portfolio for posters, uh, which I can't show you on camera because it's too big. What else did I get? Ah, yes. Um, I got this from Poundland. I've just knocked my camera. Poundland, set of three drawers, and it's going to go on my desk, and I'm probably going to put um, things like these, my ink brushes in, if they fit, which they won't. Ha <laughs> ha That's okay. Erasers will fit, so I'll put erasers in. <laughs> And just little things like that. Um, I just thought for a quid, you know, whatever. And if it doesn't fit things that I want to fit in, I'm going to use it for my makeup. So, yeah, cool. And then the last thing, which I hope isn't too big to fill in the camera, is my new Langton paper. It's beautiful. Um, a Langton Mold Made um, watercolour. And it's 
hot press, which means it's super smooth. I I like um, watercolor paper, but because I tend to use Copics as well, I would prefer a smoother one, just so it doesn't drain as much ink. It probably does still, but anyway, um, I like it to still have the texture of watercolor, but to be smooth. And unfortunately, hot press watercolor paper is quite expensive. I got this on Amazon, it was on offer, and it's, you can't even see it, 14 by 10 inches and you get 12 sheets and I've already used like three, so cool! <laughs> and I'll show you kind of what the effect of Copics and ink are on it. And watercolour, I think I use... I did this very quickly after I finished my ruby and sapphire drawing, and this is the same paper. You can see like the Copics, okay, I'm knocking everything off. The Copics give off like a kind of texture still as well, and it's kind of nice. And then inks kind of um, give a really nice texture as well. I don't think I used watercolor actually. No, I don't think I did. But uh, yeah, these were just two inks. I'm knocking everything over. And I mixed marine and bilberry. No, sorry, marine and st wild strawberry. Um, and I'll explain more about this piece when I edit the video, depending whether this this might already be off by the time you see this. But yeah, so I, I mixed the two colours and then just added water to like water them down, and then just had fun before I cleaned up and became a responsible adult and cleaned up my mess. So. I do that as well, but the paper's quite big, you can see like it doesn't fit on my camera. Um, for example, that's a regular pencil in comparison to the piece, so it's, it's quite large paper. And I really like it, so I'm going to keep buying nice paper, I think. <laughs> and I think that's everything. Um, if I've got anything else, I have just forgotten it. But yeah, so did you guys get anything nice for Christmas or have you bought any new art supplies lately that you want to tell us about? I'd love to hear about it, like what your new favourite things are, like mine are inks as you can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Ta-da! Winsor & Newton Polar Bear flavoured ink, not flavoured. What? White ink. I've never you <laughs> Okay. I've never used a white I just thought I'd show you guys like I have this box for my inks and it's so satisfying to see like nine of them. Like they don't move and the lid fits on and like I've got my two other inks there. Look how satisfying that looks. Except this sticker. This sticker's annoying me. I just tried to peel it off but it, it didn't come off, so oops. <laughs> I'm gonna just take all of them off and just relabel them because that's the same thing to do.